One of the most important things new traders should do is try to trade in the direction of the trend. Now let's ignore the complex aspect of trend in terms of which time frame trend are, are you talking about. In other words, currencies can be going up over the last week and the last month, but today their trend is down. That's a counter trend trade in the direction of a longer term uptrend. Uh, for most intraday traders though, uh, when I refer to trade in the direction of the trend, I mean today's trend. And one of the ways our Top Gun software is unique is that we statistically analyze every currency versus every other one. So this particular period you're watching right now is the dollar Swiss. We will compare how the euro dollar is going. If it's going up, that means the dollar is weak. If the euro dollar is going down, it means uh, the dollar is strong. We'll compare the pound dollar, same exact thing. Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, dollar cat. If the dollar cat's going up, it means the dollar's strong and vice versa. So to add one of our statistical trend tools to your chart, you right click on the chart, chart settings, go to add studies, scroll down to FX multi map, and this will let you see statistically how strong or weak this currency is based on the last three hour time frame, comparing every dollar currency pair and every Swiss pair, you know, the Euro Swiss, the Pound Swiss, Swiss Yen, all of them. Click Add Study, and this adds it to the chart. Now we have a lot of different options on this tool. Let me show you how I like to have it set up. You right click again, go to Adjust Settings, and click Plot Absolute Value. This will uh, plot the red and the green all on the same line and let you compare every swing up and downs statistical intensity. I find it's much easier to see that, you know, for instance, that's this down move was weaker, the weakest move of the day, it rallied up, it was still weak on the move up, that's usually a pretty um, high probability trade, you go short, it comes down, notice this next move down, much less weakness than previously, and when it goes up, following that and goes sideways, notice its momentum up is stronger, and for the most part it stays green uh, most of the rest of the day. There's many different ways of using this tool. If you see the multi-map is green, then you basically can draw trend lines on any down moves and look to buy when the price breaks out over the trend line with your stop right underneath that bar is low. You know, not getting into another lesson, but you can draw your Fibonacci profit targets on there and you know consider getting out at the 1.382 to 1.618 Fibonacci profit target, which you'll learn in our class and other of our videos. A lot of our traders who trade very short-term, fast uh, scalping type moves and are looking to get 5 to 15 pips, 20 pips if they're right, while risking 5 to 10 if they're wrong, they'll use 60 minutes here. So it's a little bit faster because it only analyzes all the dollar pairs and all the Swiss pairs over the last hour. And you can see as this went down and made a lower low, uh, there was less statistical weakness than before. And then it rallied up and came down. This had more strength going up than the weakness on the way down. And that next wave down also had less weakness than the previous one. So it was pretty clear after this pullback right here that it was pretty much more likely to go up than down. And of course it did. Now in addition to plotting the multi-map on the bottom of your chart, we have the ability to plot uh, the statistical strength or weakness that you see down here uh, right on the chart. There's 11 different shades of red and green. You would go back to the study and click uh, draw color candles. And this will plot the statistical intensity right on the chart. Now, today didn't have any obscene, super strong or super weak currency moves. Uh, let's look at some other currencies today. You can see here, it rallied up, pulled back, now not that much weakness when it came up before. Notice the color of the bars is less dark green than before and so therefore the upwards momentum was less and you start to have a downtrend. And some of our traders actually use 30 minute time frames for this. You know, it's up to you to decide what you want to use. Most of us use 60 or uh, 180 minutes. And the last option that we have on this lets you draw a color strip right on the bottom of the chart. So it shows you how strong or weak each pair is. Now keep in mind if you have a three hour time frame trend it typically can get uh, darker uh, red or green than uh, the fast one hour as you can see here. 
and you can layer multiple time frames down here if you want to have a 60 minute trend 180 720 which is half day or 1440 which shows the last uh, day's trend certainly can do that too 1440 shows the daily trend pretty strong up so you're looking to buy pullbacks goes up you buy pullbacks goes up pulls back you get in get in you know eventually you notice that it's not able to make higher highs an uptrend is a series of higher highs and higher lows a downtrend is a series of lower lows and lower highs so once you have uh, a trend swing low get broken and you might even say uh, because it failed to significantly go higher than this high and when this this high level here didn't break this swing high once this level here is broken it's pretty safe to assume uh, most of the time that this is the beginning of a new downtrend so then you're looking to sell up moves up moves you know your short up moves and again this these barely made lower lows than before and that's pretty likely a place to end the down move especially once the trend line uh, gets broken here you could assume that it's possible that the future trend direction is more likely to be up